Disney Plus needs more adult content. Yes, it needs more adult content. You heard me right. We're going to talk about it up next. Welcome aboard to another episode, another short quickie of the Orange Nerd Show. So happy Disney Plus Day, everyone. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day with all the announcements and all that fun stuff that kind of comes with this big Disney Plus event. Um, Tomorrow, quick little programming note, tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. Pacific Time, I'll be going live. It's going to be an OD55 live with Vash Sky. We're going to talk about everything. We're going to deep dive into all the announcements um, that happened today You know, on Disney Plus Day. We're going to really get into it tomorrow. Um, I have a little bit of a rant, I think, coming tomorrow in terms of Lucasfilm, who... I think completely shit the bed today, but Hey, I don't want to give away any spoilers tomorrow. We'll talk about it. I got to get a lot off my chest, but today we're just going to focus on Disney plus and really how Disney can kind of, kind of, you know, kind of, kind of invigorate the platform and get more growth. Okay. So Disney recently just had a quarterly earnings report and the Disney plus numbers have really come to a screeching halt. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. Number one, the pandy is sort of winding down. More and more people are actually going outside and leaving their house. You know, theaters are now open mostly across the country. Um, You know, Disney Plus had a huge front-loaded growth spurt at the beginning, you know, two years ago. So obviously there's going to be a slowdown. There's a lot of stuff going on, but, 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 but. I also believe, in my humble opinion, that part of the problem with Disney Plus, and I notice this in my own life anecdotally, part of the problem with Disney Plus is that it only offers kid-friendly, family-friendly material, okay? And I think when it comes to that kind of content, there is a ceiling that you eventually hit. And Michael Eisner actually kind of saw this in the 80s when he was trying to rebuild Disney as like, you know, as a media, you know, um, powerhouse, right? Like he sort of, he recognized that, that you need to branch out, which is why he started, he got involved with like Touchstone Pictures, Hollywood Pictures, Miramax. He kind of, do- he had Disney kind of diving into that more adult world. He understood the necessity of it. I think Disney Plus, if it if it really wants to beat Netflix, right, and compete with Netflix, it has to get more into adult only content. Now, obviously, that that could be an issue, right? When you have a lot of you know uh, kids watching Disney Plus, so you know, look, I think they should add like like a like a Hulu like tile on Disney Plus and 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 allow parents the flexibility to sort of, you know, restrict that certain tile, right? So they can, you know, parents can, can go in there and block the Hulu tile. So, you know, their kids don't have access to it at all. You know, I think you can give parents like the resources to sort of manage these accounts while also providing that much needed adult content, you know, on Disney plus look, I love Disney plus, but I also have Netflix. Right. And I, I find myself, kind of navigating to Netflix more and more because I don't always want to watch a family friendly show. You know, I want to watch maybe a cool detective drama or a murder mystery, or maybe a documentary that deals with more real life things. And I'm just not going to get that on Disney plus. Now, if you add the Hulu tile or something equivalent to that, um, then I, I would have less reason in, in my own, experience to net to kind of veer off of this platform i would stay on disney plus right so i think that's a big issue for the platform and i think that's something they really do need to address now i do know in the international markets they have a, a tile 
on Disney Plus called Stars, I believe, or Star. And I think it kind of is something similar to that. I think it's like more like adult orientated stuff. And I really wish they would just bring that here. I don't know if they can bring the star branding necessarily to America because legally, I don't know what they can do with that. I have no clue. Uh, but I know Hulu, you know, once they get the full rights to Hulu, which I think is inevitable, do that. Just do a Hulu tile. And, and make it age restricted or, or allow parents to kind of have that power to turn on and off the access to that top. I think that's really the way to go. And I think that's really the future for Disney plus in that if it really wants to be another Netflix or beat Netflix or pass Netflix, it has to expand its audience. And the only way to really do that is to kind of go beyond like the family friendly stuff and do offer that edgier, more adult only content. And hey, look, I know a lot of my fans might disagree with me on this. I know there's a lot of purists out there that really just feel Disney is a family friendly brand and like all this other stuff shouldn't even touch it. Um, I disagree. I mean, I think I think that you can still keep you can still keep the Disney brand un, undamaged. Um, but also include this stuff. You know, you don't have to, I think you can, you can, you can do both. I do. I think you can keep, you can preserve the Disney image, but also include more adult content. You know, I, I think that, that those two things can kind of work together. I don't think it's one or the other. So that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Again, before I get going here, I just want to remind you tomorrow, 10, 15 AM California time, me and Mr. Vasky are going to dive into all the announcements that happened today on Disney Plus Day. We're going to discuss it. We're going to break it down. We're going to go over everything. We're going to talk about why Lucasfilm I, <laughs> shit the bed. Again, I, I really do think they dropped the ball big time here. But we'll talk about it tomorrow. Really want, I really want to dive into all of that. But thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have a nerdy, nerdy day. Bye-bye.